Hello. Yeah, it's me, Dave Dagger, here. And uh, I'm going to do a little demonstration on dressing a stock. I got my new uh, Remington 597 so semi automatic rifle today. I got it from Gander Mountain. And the stock comes in synthetic gray, but it comes in a little bit rough. I don't know if you can see that edge right on the on the on the bottom of the stock there was no, there's another one on the top of the stock I dressed this one earlier um, and I'm going to demonstrate my technique for getting these molding lines off of there I'm holding the the stock in a wooden clamp it's called a Jorgensen clamp uh, this isn't the Jorgensen brand, but it's that wooden block type clamp. I got this one at, uh, at uh, Harbor Freight Tools, and uh, I think it was like seven bucks. Uh, works great; it doesn't scratch your stock or anything. It's but uh, anyway, do you ever use a chisel? Everybody knows that the sharp end of a chisel is there on the end. That's the business end of a chisel. Okay? But most people don't know there are other sides to the chisel that you can use. The side on the flat side that corner there is very sharp on both corners. That works excellent as a scraper for scraping. I use it for wood I use it for other things too. And I'm going to use this as a scraper to scrape that that ridge right off of there. And you just kind of hold it at an angle so that it pulls, pulls it off. It's like you're drawing a curl. You can do that as much or as little as you want to on your particular gun. It's quite a little mess I've got there. Well, that smoothed it right up. That really feels smooth. I don't have my glasses on right this second. There they are. Oh, yeah, that is very nice. Here on the end, I'll draw it this way a little bit. And the good thing about a gray stock too, it'll still be gray. Whereas you do a black stock, black changes color just a little bit as you do this you'll be able to see it a little bit more on a black stock. I don't know if I have a black stock here that I've done it to that I could show you. I sold the one rifle that I know I did it to. But yeah, right there in that valley there, you see the molding line there. I call this dressing the stock. got your burrs around there around there right in the corner that's a little hard place to get right there might have to scrape that a little bit differently then on this on the screw hole there I have a uh, countersink I don't know if that's going to get it or not that's a little bit too too steep of an angle. I'm not going to do that. Um, this one I scraped a little bit with the scraper. There was a big molding line right there, uh, the hole, the injection hole, where it injected the plastic in there. That cleaned up pretty good. It's all about 
making it feel good in your hands. And when it comes in with those rough lines, it doesn't feel good in your hands, you know? And you want a rifle to feel good and look good too. You don't want to show off your gun and hand it to somebody and they're like, oh my, that's a cheap gun. You can feel all those molding lines. Let's turn this over. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way there. Let's draw it up like that. There we go. Yeah, there's a real hard angle there. Real hard line. Tighten that up just a little bit. Oh yeah, that cleaned up nice. Oh yeah, that feels good now. Sure does. That didn't take very long. Not long at all. Okay, that's it.